Hey you guys, it's your boy Midnight Snorlax and we back again with another key video. So for this key video we are gonna be playing League and then we are gonna be using the target deck. So the target deck consists of different different cards that targets our opponent's cards. So <clears throat> here are some of the cards with different abilities that adds up the energy cost of our opponent's cards deducts the energy points of our opponent's cards burns it locks it and uh, others and then the other cards in here helps supports the deck so let's go play so we are rank 17 wasp and uh, we don't have shields so we are gonna be um, getting some shields so that um, we could get something in the end of the week when the rank ends so we are starting with a science arena for round one and then our Corsac Fox activates ability by deducting 30 energy points or opponents cards our sand cat adds up a random adds up um, one energy cost to all of our opponents card and Aries burns 10 to all of our opponents cards so let's use the Okapi deducting 10 energy points and then let's use the Peacock deducting 10 points also to our opponents cards so we have 93 our opponent 17 so we have the advantage in here so our opponent has uh, more energy cost and we have less we have 15 our opponent has 21 so we gotta save up some energy cost in here so Raphael burns to all of our opponent's cards so let's use Raphael and then uh, let's use the core sock fox so we have 127 our opponent has zero and our core sock fox deducts a random card of 30 energy points so in here our queen victorian prince albert adds up one energy cost to all of our opponent's cards so let's use the flying cloud and then uh, let's use the Queen Victoria Prince Albert and then let's use Martin Luther King Jr. So we have 110, our opponent is 21. We have the advantage in here. We gain 100 permanently to our flying cloud and then we gain one energy cost per turn. So in the next round will be Arts and Culture Arena. Our Brontosaurus gives us 5 energy cost. Our pulley locks a random card and then we gain 1 energy cost per turn permanently to our HMS Beagle. So let's use in here the pulley. Let's use the Aries. And then let's use the HMS Beagle. We have 163. Our opponent is 72 plus 12 to all 108 so we have the advantage in here and we are winning this round so apparently our opponent has forfeited so let's go next it's a good game so let's play another two rounds since our um, opponent quit the game or forfeited so let's select deck and let's play with a target deck so if you guys are interested about this deck I will put the types of cards and its summary in the description below so let's find for an opponent Okay, we found another opponent. Ok, 
Okay, so starting up, we're in Space Arena. And then our pulley locks a random card. Sand Cat adds one energy cost to our opponent's hand. Our Raphael burns all of the cards in our opponent's hand. So let's use the pulley. And then we are going to be using the Raphael. And then let's enter. We have 109. Our opponent is 72. Plus 12. 84. So we have a deduction in our Hestia. But that's fine. We have the advantage in here. We cross the enemy side of the line. So our sense of liberty deducts. One energy cost to all of our cards. So let's use Hestia. And then... Uh, wait. So we're not going to be using Hestia because its ability will activate in the first round. So let's use the Kumamoto Castle. And then let's use the Sand Cat. So let's end the turn. Our opponent has 52 plus 20 to all. 82. We have 70. So we have the advantage in here since we crossed the enemy side of the line. Our Corsac Fox deducts a random deducts 30 energy points to a random card so let's use the Corsac Fox and then let's use the Sons of Liberty for the Peacock let's also use Peacock since it deducts 10 energy points to all of our opponent's cards in hand so let's end the turn our Corsac Fox deducts a random card of 30 energy points we have 170, our opponent is 78, plus 15 to all, 117. So we still have the advantage in here, and then we win this round. So next, we are in the Ocean and Seas Arena. Our HMS Beagle activates ability by giving us um, one energy cost per turn. So let's use Okapi. So we could deduct 10 energy points to all of our opponent's card. Let's use Hestia so that we could deduct 15 points to all of our opponent's cards. Let's end turn. We have 73. Our opponent 63. So we have an additional 100. So we have the advantage in here. I think that was in the ability of our opponent's card in hand. So let's use our triathlon. Our triathlon activates its ability. Same thing with the Icelandic Yule Cat. So Icelandic Yule Cat adds um, one energy cost to all of our opponent's card in hand. Let's use that. And then our triathlon, since we draw our opponent's card in hand locks, deducts 10 random card and then adds one. So we have 10, we're going to be saving that one for later, and then let's use the Bendy Straw. And then let's use the Martin Luther King Jr. We have 96, opponent has 114. So our opponent has the advantage in here, our Bendy Straw activates ability by deducting 18 energy points to the remaining cards. Our Aries activates ability by burning 10 to all of our opponent's card. Our Queen Victorian Prince Albert activates ability by adding 1 energy cost to our opponent's card in hand. So let's use the Flying Cloud. And then let's use the Triathlon and an end turn. We have 63, our opponent's 112. Our opponent has the advantage but we've crossed the enemy side of the line. Making us the winner for this round. So now for the third round, we are in the Arts and Culture Arena. Our Brontosaurus gives us 5 energy costs or pulley locks a random card. So let's use the Ares, the pulley, and then let's use the Queen Victorian Prince Albert. We have 135, our opponent has 130. So we have the advantage in here. We cross the enemy side of the line. Our Raphael burns 
all of the cards in our opponent's hand and then our sand cat activates ability by adding one energy cost to all of our opponent's cards in hand so let's use Raphael, the Kumamoto Castle and then the Brontosaurus we have 157, our opponent has 34 so we have the advantage in here Cells of Liberty activates ability, deducting one energy cost to all of her cards in hand. Corsac Fox deducts a random card to our opponent's hand. So let's use the Corsac Fox. Let's use the Sand Cat. And then let's use the HMS Beagle. We have 97. Our opponent has 69. Deducts 30 to a random card in our opponent's hand. So our opponent's 99, our opponent has the advantage, but we win this round, making us the winner for this game. That was a good game. Okay, so let's put the well played, and let's go home. And then let's play the last round to determine if this card is good. We're in rank 16 jellyfish. We gotta step it up. So if you guys like this video, like this content, click the like button, subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below if you guys are interested about this deck. If you find this deck um, having its potential and um, comment about the cards. So let's go play the game. Starting up, we're in the space arena. So our Sons of Liberty activates ability deducting one energy cost to all of our card. Brontosaurus gives us five energy points. Our um, Queen Victorian Prince Albert adds one energy cost to our opponent's card. A Raphael and Ares burns our opponent's cards in hand. So let's use the Raphael and Ares. And then let's use um, the Brontosaurus. So we have 120. Our opponent has 159. So we have a deduction of 15 to our Queen Victorian Prince Albert. Our opponent has the advantage in here. And we have the disadvantage. So we lose this turn. Corsac Fox deducts a random card of 30 points. HMS Beagle gives us 1 energy cost per turn permanently. So let's use the Corsac Fox. Let's use the Sons of Liberty. So we have 6 energy cost. I'm gonna be using the Queen Victorian Prince Albert. We have 153. Our opponent has 41. So our Corsac Fox deducts a random card of 30. So our opponent has 11. We have the advantage in here. So we win this turn. So Triathlon activates ability by deducting 10 energy cost, uh, deducting 10 energy points, locking a card, and adding 1 energy cost to our opponent's card. So we are going to be using the Kumamoto Castle, and then we are going to be using the Flying Cloud, and let's end turn. We have a 75, our opponent's 112, plus 40, 152. We have the disadvantage in here, but we cross our opponent's side of the line and we win this round. Our Flying Cloud gains 100 energy points. So that's good. We win one round. So we're moving on to the Ocean and Seas Arena. Our Sand Cats adds one energy cost to our opponent's card in hand. Since it's the first round, the first turn, we are going to be using Hestia. So Hestia activates ability, deducting 15 energy cost 
15 energy points I mean to our opponent's hand now we have 8 in here so I'm planning to use the HMS Beagle and let's enter we have 113 So apparently our opponent has a bad connection in here. So we have 113 and we're gonna be waiting for our opponent. Okay, so our Icelandic U will activate its ability by adding one energy cost to all of our opponent's cards in hand. So let's use that. And then let's use the triathlon. And then let's use the sand cap. So we have 103. Our opponent is 381 plus 12 417 plus 17 468 so that's a lot of points well played to our opponent so we lost this round we are gonna be losing this round so for this I'm gonna be saving up my energy cost I'm gonna be saving up my cards. I'm gonna be using the bandy straw and then uh, let's use the peacock and then let's end turn. So our peacock deducts 10 energy cost or opponent 10 energy points to our opponent's card. So we are gonna be losing this round. Our bandy straw activates ability by deducting 18 energy points to the remaining cards in our opponent's hand so moving on in round 3 is the paleontology arena brontosaurus activates ability giving us 5 energy energy cost and then aries activates ability by burning to all of our opponent's cards in hand so let's use the okapi and let's use the pulley and then let's use the Martin Luther King Jr. So we have 175, our opponent has 172. So we have the advantage in here and we win this turn. Thanks to that, we have one energy cost permanently since we win the turn. Raphael activates ability burning all the cards in opponent's hand and Corsac Fox deducts 30 energy points to our opponent's card in hand. A random card in opponent's cards in hand. So we have 22 in here. 22 energy cost. Let's use the Corsac Fox. Um, let's use the Raphael and then let's use the Brontosaurus. So we have 157 our opponent has 133 plus 20 153 so we have 142 since we have a deduction in our card so we have the disadvantage in here and our opponent has the advantage so our Queen Victoria and Prince Albert activates ability adding one energy cost to all of her car opponent's cards in hand so let's use the flying cloud the kumamoto castle and then let's use aries we have 223 since yeah our opponent's 71 so we have the advantage in here and we win this round. So moving on, we're in the arts and culture arena. So for this, we are going to be using our sand tap activates ability by adding one energy cost to all of our opponent's card in hand. So I'm going to be using Hestia since it's the first turn and then I'm going to be using the 
Sons of Liberty and then let's use the sand cat so we have 118 our opponent is 107 plus 40 147 so we have the uh, disadvantage in here and our opponent has the advantage okay so let's see what's next in here so we have the triathlon okay let's wait for the opponent's connection So apparently we won this game, so there might be something wrong with uh, our opponent's connection. But what I could say is that our opponent has a great, great um, deck, especially that Ocean and Seas combo, damn, 400 points. So that was great, let's put a well played, so that's it for um the video so that's it for the video if you guys enjoyed the video click the like button subscribe button and comment down below um i wanted to see what will happen in that game but apparently our opponent has a bad connection um i wanted to see if uh, that deck was great maybe i could do some adjustment in the target deck so comment down below once again about this deck if you guys are interested, if there is a potential in here, and comment down below if you enjoyed the video. So with that said, thanks guys for watching and bye!